Hey guys, welcome back to some more Cricket Captain 2016 and part 44 of the Road to World Number 1 with England. And today we have the first test match against Sri Lanka in Sri Lanka. And um, and yeah, I've went ahead and picked the squad. I know I said I would wait for you guys to make suggestions, but with me starting uni in literally a couple of weeks, I need to get a good backlog. Um, so I'm not under pressure to release videos. Uh, so let's have a look at the uh, squad then. Um, oh, we can't, we can't quite do it here. Uh, it must be on no, is it this one? Yeah, we'll do it on this one. So uh, we've got Simon Davies, uh, or oh, sorry, Stephen Davies. Um, he's him and Miles are the only ones to to stay in the squad um, from that sort of last couple of experiments. Uh, I've got McLeod in there, but we've brought back the sort of Stu Broad. I don't know why I dropped him in the first place. He, uh, I've been watching back the videos and picking out players that I shouldn't have really dropped. I mean, I've brought Mo and Ali back just because we're in the subcontinent and we need a spinner, so I've brought him in. Um, but this is the, the practice that we've got. Um, we'll, we'll talk about it a little bit more as we come to play the match. So Al Sagook's going to open. Uh, Gary Balance will play at... 6 I think. We'll have Root at 4. Wainwright's not going to quite play this match. We're going to bring Ansari in. Uh, now dug it. We dropped him from the squad because if we if we look at his test match form in the current year he's only averaging 37 and uh, and that's not brilliant but uh, do we give him an, uh, another chance? Um, I mean, we could play Ansari and then maybe bring somebody else in uh, but well, we we need McLeod in for starters. So Stokes, I'm afraid your form hasn't been brilliant. So we'll bring McLeod in. Uh, hopefully Anderson and and Broad can bring some form back to the England team. Um, I think we'll stick with Duckett for now. Uh, that looks like a pretty good squad to me. So here we go. Let's get into things. Hopefully, we'll be able to win this test match. Sri Lanka are a good side, though. And we're going to have to bowl first. So, here we go. Let's see what Anderson and Broad can do. Let's see, Anderson missed out on the last match of the series. Uh, he's, he's went back to Lancashire and did okay. But still not what we'd expect from him. And he needs a good series now. Here's Stuart Broad. Not out. Anderson to De Silva. Tying the airboat to four. Now Anderson to Karuntha. Edge and gone! Anderson gets the first wicket of the series. Good to see. Stu Broad needs to be rested. That's absolutely fine. And now Anderson needs to be rested. So we'll bring in Terry McLeod. We'll bring in Moen a little bit later. But uh, two spinners, I think that's fine. Obviously, Moen's a bit more of a batsman for us. Than a bowler because uh, McLeod is our main off spinner. And he comes in. That was a good delivery, but not quite out. Um, and Ali doesn't get anything either. Obviously, we've dropped Kevin Peterson. Um, his form wasn't really good enough. It's a good delivery. Not quite out. And Sri Lanka off to a good start here. Stephen Finn now to the interval. Anderson to Chandamal. Time the air. And caught. So Anderson gets a second wicket. We obviously have Ansari as well that we can bring in the ball. Let's not forget about that. Um, and no. Broad. To De Silva. Yes. Broad gets his first wicket. And De Silva gone for 114. So we've got two. Fairly new batsman at the crease. We'll bring Anderson back. It's broad. Gone. Now then. Yes. This is good. And that's the end of day one. Two, nine, four, four, five. Edged and gone. Yes. That's what we're talking about. Couple of good deliveries there, but not not quite uh, getting the wicket. Now Finn to Shananka. 
I've now scored over 400. Moan Alley now. Edged and gone. Oh, well, I thought it was. It must have bounced, did it? Let's have a look. Yeah, didn't carry. Lunch interval day two, 4.35 now. Anderson back into the attack. Instant impact, but dropped. Now brought to Shinaka. And three wickets each for these two, the veterans. And another dropped catch. But that's caught, Anderson gets his fourth wicket. And this could be a run out. Is a run out. Then maybe, and I'm sorry. Edged and gone. Fernando, he's out, but Sri Lanka way over 500 now. So they're in a terrific position in this match. And he's gone as well. Finn gets his second wicket. No wickets for spinners there, even though we had three of them in the squad. So that's quite concerning. Edged and gone. Duck it out for a duck. And I was considering dropping him at the start of this game, and now he's definitely under pressure. Well, that could be Cook gone as well, it is. So, poor start to the series for us with the bat. And ball, to be honest with you. It's a good delivery. But Root stabilising the situation as he so often has done. more aggressive with these two end of day two we've reached 108 for two still 435 behind which means we need quite a few to avoid the follow-on 50 for root and Ansari here which is good to see that's a good delivery and Ansari gone for 63 so Gary Balance now makes his return to the England team and well, he's pushing along very nicely indeed. Let's go a little bit more aggressive. Lunch interval day three. Balance already on to his 52 4 4 for three. Hundred for Joe Root, and we are actually going to risk it here and go a bit more aggressive because it's a batsman's pitch, most definitely. Could be out, is out. He's gone for 80, and now Johnny Bairstow comes to the crease. An edged but safe. I'm going to just reduce that slightly. So, what are we? 316 for four. We're closing in on, uh, well, avoiding the follow on. We've just done it there. Oh, what a shame. Root gone for 145. And, uh, well, T and will day 3. 374 for 5. Still 169 behind. Johnny Bairstow gets his 50 on his return. So, a couple of very many happy returns for a few players. That's 4. And he's been hit. He's fine. 100 for Johnny Bairstow. And 50 for Moan Alley, a new user record, end of day 3, 5.13 for 5, so we'll try and push on here, wow, well, Moan Alley gets 100 on his return as well, I'm going to have to declare soon, 606 for 5 here. And that could be out. Moan Alley gone for 107. Let's declare there with Johnny Bairstow. 100 and... It looked like 169. Well, it says 513 for 5 there. We didn't only get that. Uh, I can assure you. There we go. 606 for 6 uh, declared. 300s there. And an 80 from Gary Bounce. 60 from Ansari. That really puts Duckett under pressure now. 
And well, we're going to have to bowl well here. We have a first innings lead of 60. We've got virtually two days to go. And well, Anderson in the first over. That's a good delivery. But not out. Unlucky. Ah, uh, yeah. This has happened before where the space bar stopped working, so a bit of a glitch, I think. Brought it to Silva. Gone! Yes, to Silva out for 16. Lunch interval day four. Now then. Continue with these two just for a little bit and then bring Stephen Finn in. And more on Ellie. Well, spacebar not working at the moment. McLeod. Um Hmm. Broad back in. Gets a wicket. That's what we needed. You can try and bowl Sri Lanka out quite cheaply here. To interval day four, Sri Lanka lead by oh, 88. Brought to Matthews. Gets him. Third wicket for him. Finn comes back in. Anderson to Banuka. No. Um, McLeod and Ali. See what they can do. Doesn't like a lot. Ali to Banuka. Gone. So Ali gets a wicket. Maybe another one here. Broad back in. Oh, that's a good delivery. Got him. Fourth wicket for Stuart Broad. Make that five. What a return to the, the lineup for Stuart Broad this has been. I'm going to bring Stephen Finn in for the final over the day. End of day four, the lead by 183. We need four more wickets to bat again. Brought to Shinaka. Could be out, not out. That's in the air, that's four. New ball, why not? Something's happened here. I can't click anything. Hold on guys, I'll try and fix this. Well guys, it seems to have crashed this game, so uh, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to let you guys down. We are going to play this episode, um, well, play this match again. I'm going to have to quit and restart. Bit of a shame because it seemed to be um, leading up to an exciting conclusion, but there's nothing I can do. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Well, we're ready to get underway just to keep things... Um, you know, authentic. I'm going to pick the exact same side as before, and we are going to bowl first, uh, just to try and keep everything as much the same as it was before. Uh, it looked like it was heading for a draw, but you never know. Um, oh, edged and gone. Anderson gets a wicket in the first over. That's what we're talking about. Um, I'll stick it on low, and uh, Broad and Anderson. Hopefully, hopefully Broad can play as well as he did in that last match because. He was playing so well. But here's Finn at De Silva. Gone. Gets his first wicket on his return. So I am really sorry about that, guys. There wasn't anything I could do. Um, you know, it, it's just one of those things that happens. You, know, you sometimes get a crash in the game. and Well, McLeod gets a, his first wicket. That's more than what he had before. Now Chandamal gone as well, so we seem to be playing a lot better than we were the first time round. I thought that was gone, but it wasn't. Um, Finn and Broad. Come on, Stuart. You were playing so well before. Well, 
everything they're going to get. I'm going to have to bring Anderson back now. More Nelly. Turn on the cloud. Gone. McLeod gets a second wicket. Uh, we're not going to take the new ball just yet. Caught and balled. Yep. And another one. Stumpman. So, end of day one, uh, 384 for seven, a totally different score to what uh, they had the first time round, but there's nothing else I could have done. Uh, we will take the new ball in just a second, by the way. There we go. So, finishing that gap. Brought to Fernando. And that's his first wicket. Good to see. Uh, Anderson. That's gone, and well, one more we get. That will be done. So, Cloud to Fernando. Gone, and um, Sri Lanka 438 all out, 100 less than what they got uh, on the previous one. What about Ben Duggett? Yeah, he didn't get his first innings, Duck. So, we'll still continue with this. Um, We've got off to a much better start with the bat than we did last time. These two were under pressure. Well, Doug, it's still not progressing that well. And Coop gone for 46, so. You know. T interval day 2, 95 for 1. Oh, 50 for Ben Duggett. What a turnaround. But he's gone for 56. And now uh, Joe Root comes to the crease. We've seen what he did last time. Edged but safe. 50 for Zafar Ansari. And we've reached 193 for 2. 245 behind going into... Day three. 50 for Joe Root. I've taken the new ball. Oh, Joe Root gone for 73. What a shame now. Balance. Let's hope he can have a, as good a return as he had before. 100 for Ansari. Lunch interval day three. 310 for three. 128 behind. Balance was hit, but he's okay. But he's out for 24. What about Bearstow? For his 169, not out. He's gone for two. What about Ali? For his sentry. So you're gonna go cheaply as well? Move him up a little bit. Well, Ali gone for 27, but we know what he can do. Uh, time the air, but it's four, so 150 for Ansari now. T interval day three. 418 for six. We're 20 runs behind. And uh, we're going to bat for half an hour. And then what we can do after that. Nothing happening there. So, scores are tied. Well, we now lead by 10, so I'm going to declare there and we'll have a go at Sri Lanka and try and bowl them out quite cheaply. And give us give ourselves plenty of time to chase down a total. Well bowled, Broad gets his first wicket.
going to bring Finn and Ali on. Gone. Finn gets his first wicket. Yes. End of day three then. 82 for two. The lead by 72 runs. McLeod comes into the attack. Gone. McLeod gets his first wicket. 82 for three. Edged and gone. Matthew's now gone for a duck. And, well, these two seem to have a decent partnership going. Stu brought back into the attack with Mo and Ali. Well, this is ridiculous. Con! How many good deliveries can you bowl in one over? Jai Sundera uh, Anderson back into the attack with Finn Got him! Anderson gets his first wicket of the innings And lunch interval day 4 uh, Sri Lanka 207 for 6 4 more wickets for us to get Gonna Bring McLeod back into the attack Instant impact. This is what we needed. Finn and Broad. Oh yes, gone. Banuka gone for 109. New ball. We'll take it. T interval day four. They now lead by 280. So we need to get a move on. Dropped. Ali and McLeod. Come on. Edged and gone. McLeod gets another wicket. Ali, can you get the final one? Yes, you can. And that is it. So 305, 306 to win. They were 315 all out. And now then. These two come to the crease. Hopefully we don't have a, a baton collapse like we're used to. Uh, Duggett seems to be going along nicely. We'll try and get a lot of the work done um, in the first couple of sessions. End of day four then. We've reached 68 without loss. 238 to win on the final day. Well, that's high in the air. Could be out. Could be out. Is out. Duggett gone for 40. And now Ansari comes to the crease. Uh, after his first inning, innings exploits, I hope now he does well. Cook already into the 60s. And, uh, well, progressing along nicely. Lunch interval day 5, we've reached 182 for 1, 124 to win. And we're looking good, 50 fans, sorry, once again. But he's gone now for 61. Joe Root comes to the crease. Uh, Alistair Cook going along very nicely. Also, no ball. 100 for Alistair Cook in the run chase. That's very good to see. As you can see. And 42 to win now. We're probably not going to do it before T, but might as well try. 50 for Joe Root. 8 to win. Are we going to do it? Well, we've done it, everybody. We have won the first test match by 8 wickets. What a team performance that was. Uh, I can't really fault anybody. Uh, if anybody was to to really, you know, say that they the may not be good enough for the side anymore, it might be James Anderson. Um, everybody else performed brilliantly, and we know from the um, the, f the first time round as well that Balance and Bairstow are well capable of getting good results. So I think, um, you know, everywhere down to sort of 
there is safe. Stephen Finn, let's have a look at him. He did okay, so he gets to keep his place. McLeod did okay, so we might just name an unchanged lineup, maybe change Anderson for the next uh, match. But there's the, the story, finally, uh, after the crash. But we have one uh, on the second time round and it was uh, by eight wickets and we now lead the three match series by one test to nil so uh, we'll go into the trainer now uh, yeah we might as well bring miles into the, the forefront so yeah I think miles will get the, the nod ahead of Anderson in the next match then um, obviously James Vince could be coming back into things Peterson is still gonna stay out of things um, but we'll see how the series progresses so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode please leave a like down below if you did you don't have to of course but me love for me and for the channel and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye